welcome! Today I'm going to take you on a walkthrough of how to register for classes at Rock Valley College using our new software, Self Service. So I'm going to start on our website, rockvalleycollege.edu, and navigate to MyRVC, the top banner. Once I'm on the MyRVC page, I can go to the Online Services tile, and when I click that on, we now have the option to preview self-service, which is our new registration software. If I click on preview self-service now, you'll go ahead and sign in with your student ID number and password that you've created. And once you're logged in, you'll be able to see a home screen. If you're not at the home screen, you can pick the, hit the home button in the top left-hand corner. There are a lot of functions in this software, but today we're focusing on how to register for classes and we will be using the student planning option. So if I click on student planning, you'll be able to see if you have a current schedule. If you do, your classes will be green. As we navigate through, remember any classes that are yellow are classes you have just planned. So today I'm going to search for English 101. So in the search area, I can click on search for courses and type in ENG space 101. That is the course uh, composition one. I'll hit enter or hit the search. This will bring up English 101, a three credit hour course. You'll want to read the course descriptions, prerequisites, meaning classes you have to take first or test out of, and any other information. On the left, you can filter by, avail by availability. So if you wanted to take only online classes, I would also filter by semester. So we are currently registering for fall credit 2022. So I'll click on fall. And I have two options. I can either click view available sections. And this will show me all of the fall sections. If I wanted to filter even further for sections that just have open seats, I can click on open sections only. This will take out classes that are filled or waitlisted. So I can see here, this first option has seven seats available. It meets Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 1015 at the Mulford Road campus. So you want to make sure you take a look at days, times, and locations. If you're looking for something online, you'll be able to see um, it will say online. If you see hybrid, that means it's part online, part in person. Here's an example of an online asynchronous, meaning it is an online class that does not have formal meeting times. So in this area, I can either add a class to my section or schedule, or I could also add it to my plan. So in this area, if I click on Add Course to Plan, under Term, I would pick Fall Credit 2022 and add that course to my plan. Once I've added it to my plan, I'm going to click on Back to Planning Overview, go to Plan and Schedule, And here is where I can lay out my schedule for the semester. So you can see I've added an English 101 section. I have a section that is yellow in this area. If I click on View Other Sections, I will be able to see all of the sections available, even those that are full. So waitlist means the class is full and there is a waitlist option. Remember, a waitlist does not guarantee you a seat in the course. You can also see there are seven pages of English 101 being offered. So I'm going to scroll through until I find a day and time that works for me and has available seats. So perhaps this one right here that is a hybrid, I could click it on, add it to my section, and now I have this English 101 hybrid section. It looks like I've also previously thought about an evening section. If I want to remove that from my schedule, just hit that box right there and take it away. So now I'll be able to build my whole schedule and see how my week is laid out. You can either register for classes individually or you could build your whole schedule and register all at once. So let's say I'm going to look for another course, Psych 170. Again, I will add it to my plan. 
under term, add it to fall credit 2022, add to plan, go back to plan and schedule. And if I want to search for a psychology course, I'll go through the same steps. View other sections, scroll through until I find a date and time that works for me. Again, when I hover over the class, it will light up. And so perhaps I want to take a class downtown. So remember, this is location RVC downtown. So make sure you take special note of those locations. I would add it to my class. And as I said, now I could either register now for each class individually, or once I've built my whole schedule and I'm happy with it, if I hit the register now button, it will register me in up to 18 credit hours for the fall, as long as there are open seats and as long as I have met the requirements for the class. I know I have successfully registered because my classes turned green. So once they're green, you are good to go. If I want to print out my schedule, I can. I could also take a picture with my phone or take a screenshot. But if I hit print, I'll now be able to see my schedule and have that ready for my first day of classes in August. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact RVC and our Academic Advising or Admissions Office. Thank you so much and have a great fall semester.